everyone, I'm Julia Kadarawa from Julia Kadarawa Cakes New York. I'm so happy to see you today. Today I'm teaching you how to make this amazing botanically correct dog food. For this arrangement we need gum paste, botanically correct veiners, cutters, molds, nostic board, pad for working with leaves and petals, two sizes of bowl tools, pin, tape, shredder for tape, petal dust and brushes, mix of confectionery glaze and alcohol, wire, pet for drying and pet for forming. Also, we need a steamer. So, let's do it! For dogwood centers, we are mixing 10 grams of base gum paste, 3 grams of green gum paste and 4 grams of yellow gum paste. Knead the mix until the paste has an even consistency. Take 26 gauge green wire, make small hooks. Tightly fill molds with the gum paste mix. Add a little bit glue to each hook. Insert the wire into the center of each mold. Please leave molds in a freezer for 40 minutes. Take dogwood center molds from freezer and separate them right away. Leave the centers for drying at least for six hours. Take a small piece of base gum paste and roll it out on a stick board very thin. Place the piece over a group. You need to cover only small part of the group. Take 26 gauge white wire, add a little bit glue to the surface, place the wire into the groove on the gum paste surface, fold the gum paste, roll out the paste, but don't press so hard on the area directly where the wire is placed. Use botanically correct cutter to achieve natural result. This ball tool make edges thinner. Add the pattern to the dogwood petal with botanically correct veiner. Gently create a natural petal shape and leave it on foam surface for drying. Please continue your work with dogwood petals. For this arrangement we are making three flowers, one small, one medium and one big. For them we need to make four small petals, four small flower, two small petals and two petals medium size for medium size flower and we are making four big petals for big flower.
For shaping dogwood petals, I recommend to use regular foam surface for drying. Also, anemone petal former works very well. Right now, we are repeating all processes again. Roll out the gum paste very thin, plate the wire, fold the gum paste, roll out again. Remember about plate for wire. Cut out with help botanically correct cutter. Separate remains of gum paste before take away the cutter and work with bottle. When you work with ball tool, please remember, work only with edges, not with whole surface of your leaf or your petal. Add natural shapes to the petal and you can see how thin the petal is. You can see shadows of my fingers through the gum paste. Right now we are making four identical petals for our big dogwood flower and using same approach. Roll out the gum paste very thin, add glue to the wire, fold the gum paste Roll out again very thin, use botanically correct cutter to achieve natural result, separate gum paste from the surface and place your blank on the foam surface for work with ball tool. Usually I have couple advice to my students. First, don't do sloppy work. Each step in sugar flower making must be done perfectly to achieve perfect result. Sugar flowers cannot make themselves. Practice, practice, practice and Mother Nature will be proud of you. Second, always have extra. Making additional leaves and petals when you make them for your cake, for your arrangement, it is no big deal. And it is big problem when you don't have enough petals and leaves to play with them to achieve amazing result for your arrangement. Third, I'm teaching you how to make beautiful, amazing, botanically correct flowers very fast. But for me, quality and beauty of flowers is first, speed will come. Again, practice, practice, practice. For dogwood leaves, we are mixing 20 grams of base gum paste, 10 grams of green gum paste and 10 grams of yellow gum paste. Please knead the mix until the gum paste will have even consistency and will be stretchy and playable. For making botanically correct dogwood leaves, we are using 26 gauge green wire. You can see that mix for leaves has deeper green color. Next step of our demo. We are making botanically correct leaves for dogwood. 
we are using two sizes of cutters, big and small. Also, we are using two sizes of veiners. So, let's do it. Again, roll out very thin your mix of gum paste, add a wire, roll out again, use botanically correct cutter and place your blank on pet surface for work with bottle. For this dogwood arrangement, we need four small leaves and eight big ones. You can check the place of your blank one more time and after that press on the surface of your veiner. Add natural shape to your leaf with your fingers. Better press once on the top of the veiner. I am pressing on edges because I want to show you the blank position between two parts of the veiner. All leaves should dry at least 6 hours. Better leave them to dry overnight. Right now we are making 4 small leaves for our arrangement. We are repeating all processes again. Roll out the gum paste very thin, plate the wire, fold the gum paste, roll out again. Remember about place for wire. Cut out with help botanically correct cutter. Separate remains of gum paste before take away the cutter and work with bottle. Dusting dogwood petals has a couple steps. First, 
with mix of soft green colors, dust a base of each petal. Dusting is my favorite part of sugar flower making, because just a couple seconds ago we had a blank, right now we have an amazing petal. Let's do the magic! Couple words about brushes. I use regular brushes for makeup. I recommend to have lots of them. When you start to work with sugar flowers, you understand that each brush shape works for particular purpose. Again, practice, practice, practice. In my opinion, dogwood is one of the best flowers for beginners. Not difficult to make, you can see it, and the result is always amazing. Remember my advice about extra petals and leaves. I recommend to use them also as samples. First, dust, glaze or steam one petal or leaf. Wait a couple minutes. It should be absolutely dry. Only after that you will decide, do you like the color or not. If yes, continue your work. Second step. Add soft pink colors to each petal. Each move or your brush should be gentle and confident. Always brush off all remains of petal dust from petal or leaf surface. Third step. Work with center part of the top of each petal. Add a little bit green to small petals. Mix green and brown to emphasize stage of bloom. I am showing the petal dusting process a couple times more. Just follow my actions and you can easily repeat this later. Cover both sides of dogwood petal with pink petal dust. One more point why dogwood is very great flower for beginners, because we are repeating same simple processes again and again, making, dusting, assembling. And after a couple hours of simple doings, you will have amazing botanically correct dogwood branch. Add green petal dust to small petals. Take a small dogwood petal, add soft pink petal dust to both sides of the petal. Brush off remains of the petal dust. Couple touches with green. And 
it soft brown a little bit work with pink again and the small petal is done we almost finished with dogwood petals and I'm just want to remind you that we made four small petals for one small flower, two small petals and two medium petals for medium flower and four big petals for big flower. I recommend to cover each leaf stem with floristic tape. Use soft green floristic tape and cover please approximately one inch. How to cover stems very fast? So take a tape and cover the stem on the middle. Tape it a little bit and push up the tape to the base of your leaf and continue the taping. Why I like the way? First of all, I'm sure that I cover whole my stem evenly. And second, I did it very fast. For dusting dogwood leaves, I recommend to use green colors such as lime green, spring green is main colors for dusting. For work with edges, I'm using yellow, pale yellow and pale green colors. Don't forget to brush off all remains of petal dust from leaf surface. I'm using for that very soft brush. Also, you can show that some leaves older than other. Just add brown petal dust to their edges. Dust the leaf with a mix of green petal dust. And remember, don't dust bottom side of your leaf, just the top. Emphasize the pattern with soft yellow and soft green colors and brush off remains of petal dust. Dust with green colors the leaf Add couple touches of soft green to the edges. And couple touches of brown. Dust small leaves like we dusted big ones. Now I'm explaining why is it very important to make particular mixes for leaves and centers. Because if you mixed gum pests in right proportions, you spend less time and petal dust to achieve botanically correct result. In this case, color of our leaf blank has the same color as bottom side of natural dogwood leaf. I call it a lazy way of dusting. We are not adding colors to the bottom of each leaf. Just emphasize the rich pattern with couple touches of our brush. How to dust dogwood centers? We are using same green colors like we used for leaves. And you shouldn't cover the tops of centers. Dust the tops first of all with soft yellow colors and after that add couple touches of pink.
Next, center. Again, soft green colors for the base of the center. Right now we are dusting the tops of the center. We use for this soft yellow color. Brush off remains of petal dust and add couple touches of pink to the tops. Next our step is glazing leaves. I am using solution of 35% of confectionery glaze and 65% of alcohol. I don't like work with vodka. I recommend work with Everclear. And I don't recommend use brushes for glazing because this way is longer is first. Second, you will waste your brush. Just Insert each leaf into the solution. Leaves should dry at least 15 minutes. For petals we are using steamer. Remember, safety is first. Steam each petal very carefully and leave them to dry at least for 15 minutes. Couple more words about the solution for leaves. The mix is very sticky. Don't worry about just clean your fingers and work surface with alcohol. Also, we should steam each dogwood center. The final stage of our demo today is assembling. Let's start with small flowers. For small flowers, use the smallest dogwood center. Add a first small petal to the dogwood center. Attach them tightly with green floral tape. Tape the second petal to the first petal and dogwood center. Sizes of those two petals should be the same. Place the petals opposite of each other. Assemble another two petals 
as we did with the first set and used the same green floral tape. I never saw dogwood in bloom before we moved to the youth. I immediately fell in love with the tree. I was captivated by the simple beauty of dogwood flowers. As you know, I make a lot of flowers, but dogwood is still one of my favorites. Again, about extra petals. Having extra petals is very important when you make sugar flower arrangements. The more options you have, the more beautiful and more botanically correct your branch will be. Take two small leaves. They should be placed half of inch, three quarter of inch below on flower stem. Tape them with brown floristic tape. In our first small dogwood flower is ready. For assembling dogwood flowers and dogwood leaves, I don't recommend to make petioles for leaves. They are enough playable without petioles. For medium sized dogwood flower, we are using medium sized dogwood center. Also small center for dogwood medium flower can be used. Add to this medium sized dogwood center two small dogwood petals and tape them one by one. Tape two medium petals to the stem.
we are working with medium flour as we work with small flour we are adding big leaves below on the stem approximately half of inch three quarter of the inch and tape them with brown floristic tape i cannot say that some stage of sugar flour making is more important than previous or next one all of them are very important i completely understand that taping is very boring stage but taping must be done accurately tightly perfectly Right now we are working with third flower. The flower has four identical petals. These petals have same sizes and we are working like we worked before with small and medium sized flowers. We are adding first two petals and we are filling gaps between them with help two more identical petals. Tape all petals one by one tightly to the stem. Add to the flower stem two big leaves. First step of leaf assembling is making dogwood knots. Take two small leaves, tape them together with brown floristic tape. Form with the brown floristic tape small knot. Small petals can be made or you can assemble the leaves without leaf stems. I love work with dogwood leaves. Dogwood leaves and branches are very playable. They have amazing pattern. They can be used without flowers and they are amazing helpers in spring arrangements. For our dogwood bouquet today, we are making branch with six dogwood leaves. We finished with two small ones. Right now we are assembling first two big ones.
take the smallest flower and using 20 gauge green wire we are making our stem work with brown tape and attach the flower bend it a little bit at natural shape and take second flower medium size and repeat the process You can leave this branch like we did before or you can add the biggest flower a little bit lower and tape it. dogwood branch is ready right now we are assembling our leaves our branch will be with two big sizes and one the small one same wire 20 gauge green wire brown tape and same Tape it and bend a little bit take next leaves and add them to the stem We have second branch with leaves and we assemble two branches together. You can see how easily I can play with each flower, with each leaf, with each branch. It is very useful when you make arrangements. Our branch of botanically correct dogwood is ready. I hope you enjoyed our class today. If you have some questions, please send me. I will answer. See you soon. With love, Juliet.